So this video, this video is still on the vector spaces, and we finish with, with a very important theorem: uh, the invariance of basis size. <coughs> if so, this is a set. This is a base. Okay. This is a base, and this is another one. So this set of vectors is a base with vectors u1, u2, etc., um. And another set of vectors that it is also a base. This one is also a base. w1, w2, etc., till wn. So the theorem says, if this set and this set are both bases of a vector space v, then m equals n. So the number of vectors in this space, this basis, the number of vector in vectors in this basis should be equal oh, basis uh, to the number of vectors in this basis. So this is called the invariance of basis size, meaning the size of uh, if for two bases of the same vector space, the size will be the same. That's your idea. Okay, so we are going to do the proof for this invariance of basis size. Okay, uh, we want to get to a contradiction. So let us suppose that the dimension of this set is not the same as, as the dimension of this set. So m is not n. Well, m is not n, so if m is not n, um, one of them will be bigger than the other. So without loss of gener generality, let us say that m is smaller than n. If m is smaller than n, then we have all the u1, u2, etc. till um from this basis and plus this uh, uw1 from this one. Okay, so but the this u's they span um, v, right? Because this is a, a, a basis for the space. So if it spans v it will span this vector, meaning that u1 can be written as a linear combination of this base basis. Okay, so u w1 w1 can be written as u a1 times u1, a2 times u2, etc. Okay, and clearly not all these a's are zero. Okay, not all these a's are zero. Let us speak without loss of generality. Let us say that it is a1 that is not zero. Okay, we're going to say a1 is not zero. So if a1 is not zero and um, if so taking u1 out and replacing u1 by w1, a vector spanned, this spans v. Okay, if you have any problem with this, you can check up the, the, the proof is really easy for this. Okay, so the deal idea is w1 is one vector spanned by the basis, okay, so you can take one of the vectors, okay, and put here the w1. Okay. Okay, and doing more or less the same process. Uh, here we picked W1, U1, U2, etc. And now we pick another set. We pick the set with W1, W2, and we keep on U2, U3 till Um so we pick this set w1 w2 
u2, etc. till un. And so this time w2 w2 is going to be a linear combination of w1 and u2 etc till um okay so u2 equals b1 times w1 plus b2 times u2 plus etc till bm times un okay so it is clear that at least one of these b's will not be uh, zero okay because if that happens then w's are not this the, the, the w vectors are not linearly independent okay let us say it is this one this time okay so let us say b2 is not zero okay if b2 is not zero then w1 w2 u3 um spans v okay and we keep on doing this process till we get to w m plus 1 this is going to be a linear combination of w1 w2 right till wm okay so you keep you just keep doing the same process so the set w1 etc till uh, w w ends up in n right till wn this is not is not linearly independent okay and this is a contradiction okay because we assume so this this concludes the proof we reached a contradiction we began here uh, we wanted to get to a contradiction so we assume that m is not n and we reached a contradiction the contradiction is that we we conclude that this this set this set of vectors is not linearly independent and they are the u's and the w's are both bases for the space so if you have two bases that span the same space both bases they will they will have the same size they, the size will be invariant so we finish with a definition we define here what the dimension is a vector space that has a basis consisting of n elements is said to have dimension n so you you pick a basis okay and the dimension of basis the number of elements number of vectors that you get in the basis that is the same as the dimension of the vector space the trivial vector space the set with the vector zero is said to be spanned by the empty set and to have dimension zero this is some sort of uh, convention or definition okay this is the important thing a vector space that has a basis consisting of n elements is said to have dimension n